Welcome to AH Tutorials where we show you how to work on cars. Today we're going to be working on a seat. Our model car is going to be a 2013 Honda Accord. Yours might be different but for these Hondas they're usually all the same and if you want you can use this video as a reference or a guide to help you work on your model. So let's get to it. For this we're going to be using some pretty common household tools. First we're going to be needing a ratchet with a size 14 socket on there and then we're going to be needing a flat screwdriver. First thing we want to do is we're going to want to adjust our seat and there's a lever here on the bottom and by pushing up on this lever we can move the seat back and forth. Yours might be electric, you, you might have buttons on the side and you can just push those buttons back and forth and after we do that, after we adjust our seat, we're going to want to remove this plastic so we can take off the seat belt. Now sometimes your car might not have this, sometimes it will. In this case our car does and the way we remove this plastic is we're just going to pu push up on it. It's just going to slide out easy like that. After that it's going to reveal a bolt here on the bottom and we're just going to take our ratchet with the size 14 socket on there and we're just going to take this bolt off. Now again your car might not have the seat belt on the seat but this one does so we're going to have to take it off. But if yours doesn't, you can just skip this step and go on to the next one. After you do that, we're going to slide the seat back as much as we can. After you got the seat out of the way, we're going to go ahead and remove the carpet out of the way. We're just going to put this on the side and underneath the carpet is going to be two bolts. There's going to be one here and there's also going to be one on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and just take those out now and the way you take them out, again taking your ratchet, the size 14 socket on there. And we're just going to take them out. Same thing for the other bolt. After you take those bolts out, we're just going to be moving the seat up so that we can get behind the seat. And I'm just going to move myself to the back. And you can see here at the bottom, there's going to be two plastic pieces right here and right here. And we're just going to have to take those plastic pieces off and we can go ahead and just use our flat screwdriver and we can just wedge ourselves between there and just start pulling this off. And you see that it just pops off nice and easy. You do want to be careful though because you can break these. So you just want to work gracefully. Make sure you're not breaking anything because they are plastic and they are fragile. Now after taking that off, it's going to reveal some bolts. There's going to be one over here and there's also going to be one on the other side over here. And again, we're just going to take our size 14 socket on the ratchet and we're just going to be taking these off.
after we take these off, we're gonna go ahead and move to the front. Now at the front, we're gonna be pulling the seat kind of to a middle ground, not all the way back and not all the way forward, just kind of in the middle. And once you do that, we already have all the bolts off, so it's gonna come up nice and easy like that. Now underneath here, there's gonna be a whole bunch of plugs. You got the SRS plug, you got this white one and this blue one. And the way these come out, starting with the yellow one, is there's this black portion right here, as you can see. And we're gonna be pulling up on this. And that's just gonna pop this plug out. For these, for these other plugs, they're gonna be relatively the same. There's a little tab right here. I'll point to it, the screwdriver. A little tab right here. You're gonna to wanna to push down on this. And once you push down, you wanna pull on that and that's gonna come out. Same thing for the other one. Again, there's another tab right here and you can go ahead and just pull. That's gonna come out. Now over here, there's a clip that's plugged in and we're gonna take the wire, we're gonna pull down a little bit just to reveal and we can just push down on the, the clip from the side and you can just pretty much pry it out and it comes out nice and easy like that. As you can see, it's kind of pressurized on the sides. You can kind of squeeze the sides together and that's how it works. And it just kind of squeezes into the hole and they push out, maintaining it inside. And so that's how the clip works. So you have pretty much everything off. That's how you have the seat off. And of course uh, you can uh, take it out and then put your new seat in. But for this purpose, we're just gonna put our old seat back in. So I'm just gonna show you how to put everything back together. Starting with the plugs. We're gonna put, put it all back together. You can't really mess up the plug part because it's like a puzzle. You know, if the pieces don't fit, obviously it's not gonna go there. So don't worry about getting the plugs messed up too much. We're just gonna be putting everything back together and it doesn't really matter what order. We're gonna be sliding the seat back and we're gonna line up these holes and we're just gonna do the front first. It doesn't, again, it doesn't matter. You can do the back, you can do the seat belt. It doesn't really matter what order, but in this case, we're just gonna do the front first. And we're gonna use our hand and we're gonna finger tighten them first. And make sure it threads correctly. After we have all that, we're gonna be taking our ratchet and go ahead and tighten all the bolts. And make sure you get them make sure you get them on there nice and tight. After you get that, we can go ahead and just move the seat all the way forward. And now we're gonna be putting the rear bolts back in. Again, it's the same process, just finger tightening them. Make sure it threads up nice. All the holes are lined up. It's gonna make it real easy to just put everything back together. And take our ratchet, size 14 socket. Making sure it's on there tight. After you do all that, we can go ahead and put all the plastic pieces back in. As you can see here, there's two tabs on the plastics 
and these tabs are going to go into these two holes right here. So we're just going to put that in. And it just clips on. Same thing for the other side. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the seatbelt back in. We're going to thread it all, thread it with our hands first. And after you do that, go ahead and tighten it. Make sure that's on tight. And after we do that, we're going to put the plastic piece back on. Just slides in, same way it came out. And there you have that. Everything works fine. You just replace your seat, everything looks nice. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.